Yeah, let's let's humble ourselves, Lord, with prayer. Uh, Lord Father, I thank you for the gift of life. I thank you for this day. Thank you for that we're going to be able to meet. I pray that the internet shall be able to support us through this whole program, and we shall understand. We shall be productive. In the Lord's name, I believe and pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Gayaza High School, for the prayer and for praying for the internet. I know God is going to be with us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a test run of what is possible within our schools, more so within the collaboration sector. And I'm sure we are going to learn a lot today. So let us bear with all the outcomes of this session as, as we learn. I would like to welcome our friends from Uganda Communications Commission and RENU, RENU's Research Education Network Uganda, who are providing internet in our schools and us. They have boosted uh, the internet capacity in the schools to be able to hold this workshop or this seminar well. So we are here to also test that. I would like to welcome my friends Holistic e-learning project. The holistic e-learning project is bringing you this seminar, but also we shall be bringing you so many other collaborative activities within your schools. So I would like to welcome my colleagues, Alan, Kakinda, Ayub. Uh, I don't know if Ayub is already online. Um, Arthur, the head teacher of Miri, Daniel Kakinda and all the people we work with in the schools. I would like to welcome the teachers who are on the, this platform, on this seminar. Today. Wherever you are coming from, your school may not be presenting today, but we appreciate all the effort that has come in. I would like to welcome all the students across the We have so many schools. Actually, we, we are overbooked on this seminar and we are running it live on Facebook, but also we shall run it live on YouTube because the registration is beyond 300 and we hope we'll be able to manage. We'd also like to welcome our friends from abroad, whoever will be connecting uh, to us. And when we get to know, we shall recognize them. As I said, we are here to learn together. We are here to test the possibility of connecting online and therefore, today is a learning day, so bear with us. In the program, we expect speeches at 11 from Uganda Communications Commission and RENU. And when that time comes, we shall see if we can get them live from wherever they will be presenting from. So with that, I want to welcome all the schools here and those that are going to join. And now I want us to move straight to Navisus, are you alive? Please continue. Good morning. I'm Joy and I'm Joy and Lisa, and we are presenting number two, percent number. So they tell us that in a certain school there are 50 students who play three games, namely chess, tennis, volleyball, of which 24 play chess. 26 play tennis and 29 play volleyball. Nine play both chess and, and volleyball. 13 play both tennis and volleyball. And 11 play chess and tennis. And they, and they give us some an additional statement down there to tell us that each of our students play at least one game, meaning either one game or multiple number of games. So we present the information as a great diagram. So from the information, I know they have three sets already. Hopefully, we are changing this by everyone. Then, the turn so off here, I know number in check. Hello everyone, I'm Harunda Joyce Faith from Iganga Secondary School, working out number 21A. 
under the topic of menstruation in the practice questions. Number 21A is about a lampshade and we are required to find its total surface area and there are so many types of lampshades. There are those that are closed at both ends, there are those that are open at both ends and there are some that are closed at one end. After further consultation, we are told to find our total surface area of our lampshade based on the principle that it's closed at one end. And this is our lampshade. This is our lampshade. It's closed at one end. So to find its total surface area, we shall need the, the area of the circular surface and the area of the curved surface. As, illu as illustrated here, we have the circular surface and the curved surface. But this lampshade was got by, by result of chopping off. Uh, it was a full one like this and we chopped off. So this was removed to form this cone and this and the whole of, the whole of it formed this one. So to find our curved total surface area for the lampshade, we shall need the curved surface area of our big cone minus curved surface area of the small one and we shall add on the area of the circular surface but we don't have the curved surface for our big cone and the curved surface for our small one so we are required to find them so we shall have curved surface area for our big cone which is pi rl and we don't have the slanting side so we shall have to extract this triangle from from this one but remember we have two we have unknowns since when we completed our lampshade we have x here and 12 here so we shall have to find the height of the of the cone since we don't have it so we shall get our height of the cones is got using the linear scale factor and these two cones are similar so their the ratio of their corresponding values is equal so we shall have the linear scale factors as 7 out of 3 which is equal to 12 plus x out of x since this is our height for our bigger cone and this is our height for the small one so we shall cross multiply to find the value of x which will be 7x is equal to 3 12 plus x we shall open the bracket so we shall have 7x is equal to 3 times 12 is 36 plus 3 times x is 3x then we shall collect like terms 7x minus 3x is equal to 36 and our difference here is 4x is equal to 36 to find the value of x we are going to divide through by 4 so it will be 4x out of 4 is equal to 36 out of 4 and our value of x is 9 centimeters. I'm a donkey for some pigeon from my own take. I'm doing number one, part A. It says, solve the equation by factorization. I'm solving the equation 3x squared plus 10x plus 3 equals to 0. Now, before you go ahead and solve this, you have to first identify this, uh, this equation. As you can see, this one is simply a quadratic equation. If it's a quadratic equation, I have many, uh, many ways of solving a quadratic equation, many methods, but today for me, I'm going to solve it using sum and product. So I come and I say the sum. Identify the sum in this equation, which is the sum is the coefficient in x, which is negative 10, x but not x squared. So I come and also identify the product. The product is the coefficient in x, we must find the coefficient in x squared, which is 3, times the, the, times the number of the variable x, which is 3. I get my 9. Now the product that I get, I come and I get this factor. This is my side work. The factors of 9, the product, which is 9 times 9, gives me 9. I also have, I also have um, 3 times 3, so also gives me 9. So, in this case, I look for the factors of 9, which I can uh, add, and I get the sum, negative 10, and also the same numbers, which be the number that I will the, uh, multiply, and I get my product. So, I, I think I'll be using 1 and 9. 
But I, to, you know, you know, in order for me to add and I get a negative 10, I will make my 1 a negative and I add it to a 9 which is a negative also to give me negative 10. This one proves that right now if you add the negative 1 plus negative 10, it gives me back negative 10 which is the sum. But if I, I do what? I multiply the negative 1 and negative 9. What will it give me? I will have negative 1 times negative 9. Negative times negative gives me a positive. So I get my 9. That proves me that if I multiply these factors, negative 1 and negative 9, I get my product. And also if I add it, I get the, the sum. So I'll come and I say the numbers are numbers are negative 1. Negative 9. Those are the numbers, the factors that I've got. And say the factors are or numbers are these. So I come and I rewrite my equation 3x squared. Then where are they? I say minus x minus 9x plus a 3 equals to a 0. Because if I have negative x minus. Good morning, members. My name is Nasasia Douglas from Kasao SS Chigayas. I have come to discuss on the topic of probability. Number 11, part B. It says that Elamas box contains marbles. Now the probability of red marble is 2 out of 5. And the, pro and the probability of the blue marbles is 3 over 7. Now the question is, what is the probability of the green marbles in the box? Now, they have told us that the probability the probability of red marble red marble is equal to 2 out of 5 and they are saying that the probability now the probability of a blue marble is equal to 3 over 7 and now they are asking, what is the probability? The probability, the probability of now a green marble. A green marble. It means that Iraman's box contains three types of marbles, which are of red, blue, and green. And now they have given us the probability of a red marble and the probability of a blue marble. Now they are asking of a green marble. It means that we are going we are going now to add these probabilities of a red and a blue. So now we are going to get the total probability of a red marble and a blue marble. Now, a simple mathematics is applied here. This is a fraction. So we are going to add 2 over 5, then plus 3 over 7. To get the LCM, we have 7 and 5. So now we are going to divide by the prime numbers here. Now 2 is impossible and 3. So we are going now to 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, and 5 divided by 7 is 7, because it is impossible. Now we are going to 7. 7 by 1 is 1, 7 by 7 is 1. So now we are going to multiply 5 times 7, getting 35. Meaning that here, our LCM is 35. Now 35 divided by 5 is 7. Now 7 times 2. This two here. Now we are going to add. 35 divided by 7, we have 5 then times 3. So here we have now 14, 7 times 2 plus 5 times 3 is 15 out of 35. Meaning that we are having 14 plus 15, getting 29 out of 35. Now members, they are asking for the probability of the green marble. Now it, it let us assume that now we have the whole. So the whole is one. So we're going to get the probability 
probability of a green marble. A green marble. Now, here we are going to set equals to the hole which contained the box, which contained the, now the, the, the box. It had now the whole of the, the marbles. It is one. Then minus the two fractions, the two probabilities of red and the blue marble. Minus 29 out of 35. We know mathematics should have plenty of plenty of formulas. Now here we are going to use the cross multiplication formula of getting this how to calculate this fraction. So we are having equals to one here minus. 29 out of 35. But remember the whole has a silent denominator which is 1 because 1 divided by 1 is a 1. So equals to now 1 times 35 is 35, then minus 29 times 1 which is 29, then over 35. 35 equal to 35 minus 29. This is now 6 out of 35. Now we Okay. Are you able to see what I've shared? Yes, we can see your screen. Okay. So good afternoon to you all. I am Ayub Goloba Kalema. I am a teacher of geography and ICT at uh, Napsusa Girls School. I'm also a member of the project implementation team of the Holistic E-Learning Project for Uganda Schools. I am delighted to be here with you. I would like first of all to thank you all for devoting time and effort into this particular program or program for the Holistic E-Learning Project. Ladies and gentlemen, the Holistic E-Learning Project is an initiative of uh, Uganda Communications Commission together with four leading schools and educators in Uganda, whose aim is to improve the quality of teaching and learning in Uganda. We have five key areas. One is to promote collaboration between schools. Today you have seen what happened. The second is to enhance usage of information and communication technologies in teaching and learning. The third is to produce high quality digital content that we can use to enrich the teaching learning process. Four is to develop the capacity of educators and schools to deliver high quality training. And finally, to influence policies to create an environment that supports e-learning. We have started with four schools, which are the core schools, Nabisunsa Girls School, Gayaza High School, St. Mary's College Chisubi, and Usoga College Mwiri as the pilot schools. But like you've seen today, the action goes beyond those schools. We have built an e-learning platform that we can use to share information. The discussions we've had today have been, uh, will be backed up and uploaded on our platform are the instructions to access that platform. You'll visit the website www.help.sc.ug. When you visit that platform, and I'll do that shortly, you browse through the list of courses. We've created courses in four subjects, that is mathematics, physics, geography, and computer studies so far. So you'll browse through the list, click the link that you're interested in, and then you'll be able to access the resources. Now, you need to register to access the resources. However, we have made a provision that you can access those resources as a guest. So you'll be able to click login as guest to access the resources. Now I'm going to move to the e-learning platform itself, where we shall be able to share additional resources. I invite teachers and learners to visit this particular website, which is a platform for sharing resources and collaboration across schools. Here we go. 
So we got help.sc.ug, which is a platform. So the platform is now loading and it will show, soon show us the different courses available. As it loads, let me take you through the components. You'll pick one of the courses, which is a seminar. I give it a minute to load. So here is the e-learning platform. Are you with me now? Ronald, are you able to see? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So we do have a number of courses and I'm scrolling through, starting with geography. And then senior force seminar, we've created a special area for this seminar, then mathematics and physics. Physics has two areas, light and mechanics. Now I'm going to log into one of the courses. So you scroll and then click S4 mathematics seminar. Now, if you're not logged in, as many of you might be, you might want to register. However, you don't have to register as of now. So you click login as guest. And I'm going to do that shortly. So when you log in as guest, it now takes you to the course. So it has the announcements, question and answer, the chat room where you can send us information, and then the resources for the seminar. The questions that have been handled today are right here. You can download them as well as the answers to the questions that we are receiving. So we will be able to upload more materials so that we can be able to visit that area and uh, create a genuine platform where educators from around, around Uganda can reach learners. Uh, we have been delighted to be with you. Please visit that platform and we are eager to have you share your experiences and knowledge. Whatever information has been produced, the videos, the written answers, the questions, we shall upload on that platform. Thank you very much. And over to you, Mr. Dung. Okay, um, thank you so much, um, Ayub, for that brief presentation. Good afternoon, my name is Kalasingis Joy Tessa. I'm with the SS. I'm doing analysis number two. Number one, say integrate of x out of two minus two of x. X zero one. They say that apply a suitable substitution. So I'm going to use your substitution. The net by you is equal to 2 minus 3 to x. My b u will be equal to negative a half to x dx. So I'm also going to change the limit. From here, we have g is equal to 2 minus root of x. Change in limit. We have the first zero. So we are substituting here. If our u will be equal to two, because root of x, root of zero is zero. And for one, two minus root of one, one. So, and from this equation still, we shall have root of x being equal to two minus two. So wherever there is root of x, we shall have substituting 
2 minus 2. So it shall come from 2 to 1. So 2 minus 2. From here, RTX is equal to negative 2 root of x du. So, this is times for the substituting in for dx, we have negative 2 the root of x, we have it here, 2 minus 2 divided by divided by u. Number four. Since x squared, 2x squared minus x plus 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into x, this is x, x squared minus minus x minus 6. Take a look at this. When you multiply the coefficient of this is 1 times the negative 6, you're going to have negative 6. Now, when you look at the products, the, the factors for negative 6, you have a negative 3 and a positive 2. When you sum them up, you get what? Negative 1. We are going to factorize. Factorize 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into x squared minus 3x, then plus d2x minus 6. Proceed. This is equal to, from here, 2x squared minus 9x plus 6 out of x into brackets x squared. So I'm going to, from here, factorize of x. X, we have x minus 3. From here, claim out the 2, 2 into x minus 3. This is equal to 2x squared minus 9x out of x into whatsoever is left of this into brackets x minus 3 into x plus 2. Now, looking at this, we are going to get what? we are going to get the, the partial fractions. Now this is a linear equation. So now this one, what? My name is Nekesa Grace in Senior 6 at Iganga SS. I'm here to take you through number 10, Roman 1 and Roman 2. Uh, our Roman 1 requires us to find the relative velocity of particle F to particle B. to find relative velocity of particle f to b which is also denoted by a relative to b uh, for us to get the relative velocity of particle f to b we are going to have velocity of a minus velocity of b so velocity of a minus velocity of b in our question we were given the position vectors and also the velocities of particle f and particle b uh, for particle f, its velocity f is given as 1, 3, 4, and its position vector ra equals to 2, negative 5, 1. For particle b, its velocity is 3, 0, negative 2. Then its position vector times t equals to 0 is 3, 3, 2. So, first we get our relative velocity of particle f 
to b which is needed by this we get velocity of a minus velocity of b so at this point i'm going to substitute in for velocity of a and velocity of b in my formula so we have our velocity of a as one three four minus velocity of of b which is uh three zero negative two so our relative velocity of circle f relative to b we are going to have negative two by subtracting I will have a three here and a six so that is what our Roman one requires us to find in the same year, Uganda Communications Commission UCC, under its Rural Communications Development Fund, signed a memorandum of understanding with RENU to extend high internet connection to 55 secondary schools. Going as partners, we facilitate through RENU for more secondary schools to be connected to the internet. So it's no longer just about tertiary institutions and already established research institutions but now they have gone into the crust of educational institutions. So now that they have embraced secondary school, I look forward to them even embracing primary school because it's all educational institutions. So that at the end of the day, we know that there's an institution ensuring that all educational institutions have connectivity and are able to utilize the internet for good. Ronald Dungu is an influential personality in promoting digital education among secondary schools. He initiated the holistic e-learning project among secondary schools in different parts of the country onto the RENU network. The project partners with RENU to enable virtual sharing of knowledge among secondary schools. This means that if I select box B, there are three more times Currently, he is seated at the RENU headquarters, moderating an L-level mathematics virtual seminar among 64 participating secondary schools over the RENU network. This is one way we would like to cover the gap, reduce the gap between the urban and rural schools. And I'm sure at one point we'll have a thousand schools connected to one screen and learning together. This is the first virtual seminar I've had today. So I would say it's better than the physical I've, the physicals I've had before. Because before we would have problems with the space, first of all, you're going to a school and they're telling you can only take 30 girls, but you have a class of about 60 people because the school cannot accommodate all of you. But at least here we connect from our different regions, but all of us are present. I really want to now welcome the representative of RENU. Uh, Brian, please unmute yourself and speak to the gathered schools here. Can we spotlight RENU? Hello. Hello, Mr. Dongu, can you hear me well? Yes, we can hear you well, Brian, go ahead. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Du, for giving us this opportunity to speak. And you can Brian tell us Seba. even your former school, what it was. <laughs> thank you so much. I am Brian Masiga from Renu. I'm a senior network engineer here at Renu, and I'm representing the Renu CEO today in the seminar. I also associate that I am a former old boy of Busaga College Mwiri from 2003 onwards up to where I completed my studies. I would like to say that also, I also went through the hands of Mr. Dungu as my mathematics teacher, and I'm very impressed of what is happening here today. I have been listening through the seminar, and I'm very impressed with what the students of uh, the different schools have done, from Iganga SS to Navisunsa to St. Mary's College Chisubi, Please, guys, high school, guys, that was very amazing. And during this pandemic time, Mr. Dungu and the help 
help initiative have been very good at doing this and having this seminar has taken us a very long way to appreciate the internet and the technologies. So a vote of thanks to Mr. Dungu and his team, a vote of thanks to Mr. Arthur, my headmaster from Musoga College Mwiri, and a vote of thanks to all the schools, all the teachers, and everyone that has participated in making this very good. I want to say congratulations and thank you very much. I'd like to speak a bit about who RENU is. RENU is the Research and Education Network for Uganda. We only serve institutions in education and research where the schools now fall. So with the schools part of the RENU network, we are very grateful and ready to serve you, to provide the internet and also give you other services on top of the internet. So the internet is just a road to reach the market. What we are doing here today, initiative is doing is what makes the market very important. So I want to say that RENU is here to serve you. We are here to build the network. We're here to provide internet and on top of that, provide other services like Zoom. So in case you're not yet connected to RENU as a school, please reach out to us. Only serve research and education institutions. And all this couldn't be possible without the hand, the invisible hand of the Uganda Communications Commission. So what UCC has done for the schools is very amazing. So we'd like to also extend a thanks to UCC for what they're doing. For us, Renu, as the future, the future is with you, the students, the teachers of the schools. So reach out to us wherever you want us to help you serve for some of the things that we are doing in mathematics and any other, course, any other studies that we would like to do. I saw what uh, St. Mary's College Jesuvi did online. That was very amazing. We have the tools that can help us do the seminars. So thank you so much, Mr. Dungu. Thank you so much, the Health Initiative. Thank you so much, UCC and all the schools. Enjoy the seminar. I will still listen in and learn a lot from you. The mathematics that has been demonstrated here has been very good. Thank you so much and have a good day. Thank you, Renu, and thank you, Bob, for coming to our rescue as schools and connecting us. This is helping us to close the gap between the urban and the rural setting. And this is um, very interesting. Just want to say that this seminar has been important and it has always been important to us because through seminars, we learn quite a number of life skills. You have been doing a lot of teamwork and collaboration from your schools. We have seen it here in the presentation. You have been doing a lot of problem solving, especially with the mathematical manipulations. You have also learned technical skills, ICT skills, when you are working with your teachers to record all your presentations. Communication has been key. You have exhibited good communication skills today. Confidence, we have seen a lot of confident people today. Your self-esteem is good. Your orderliness and organization, your time management, your resilience, empathy, to be able to share with other people across the country is not a given. And we thank you for that and your appreciation for your teachers and above all, your patriotism to the development of this country. So all of these are life skills that may not have been taught in your mathematics class, but the seminar crowns it all and brings all this out. And that is the very reason why we keep at it every other year. So I would like to thank my teachers, my colleagues for the job well done, the head teachers for the good work you've been doing. And at this time, allow me to invite the head teacher of Mwiri, if he's still there, on behalf of the other head teachers to say one or two words as we close this seminar. Hello. Yes, please go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you, Mr. Dungu and the team uh, for putting this seminar together. I want to thank UCC, Renu, the teachers who have organized the, the children to present very good work and the children themselves for making these presentations. This is a, a milestone in the use of ICT in sharing information. 
and collaboration. I want to thank all of you for the good work and wish you success in your exams. Arthur Ambal is my name. I'm the team leader at Musoga College Muiri. May God bless you. Thank you, Arthur, um, for joining in and for being here and for supporting the development of our schools. Ladies and gentlemen, dear students, we want you to open your uh, cameras. We want to go for a photo moment now. A photo moment is where everybody's camera is open and we take screenshots of this. You wave to each other. Um, we can allow you to shout a bit um, as we wind up the seminar. <laughs> Wow.